So in today's video, I got another quick tip and I'm gonna show you how to use chat commands to control OBS like this. So I just did a video a little bit ago on how to use channel points to control OBS. So this video is catered more towards if you're not an affiliate and you haven't unlocked channel points yet on Twitch. So what this will allow you to do is use any of your chat commands to control your OBS and do some interactive things like that little toasty pop-up or an anime zoom or anything your heart desires. Well, I'm fascinated with tech and one of my goals on this channel is to help you improve your streams or your video content look and sound professional simply. So if you're interested in learning more, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. We're gonna get into it. Okay, so the program I'm gonna show you how to do all this in is a free program called Touch Portal. The link is in the description. Download, install it link your Twitch, link OBS, restart everything, and then we're gonna get into it. But I want you to follow along just to see how simple and easy this is. So I'm giving away Toasty pop-up and an anime zoom, and what I wanna do is walk you through on how to set up Toasty. So first, you're gonna create a scene, and I like to call it ZZ Triggers, and you're gonna add that media into the scene. And basically you do that by going plus, add media source, you name it, hit okay, you're gonna get a pop-up after that. What I like to do is hit local file, browse, find your file source. Make sure you never move where you save this. So that's why I have it something simple. I have a Twitch folder, stream graphics, media, and then that's where I put it, toasty green screen. And when I like to set where this is, I like to hit loop so I can you know, control where it is on screen. Um, and then the boxes you wanna check is make sure loop is off by the time you're done and have it located where you want. Click restart playback when source becomes active. Click use hardware decoding when available and then click show nothing when playback ends and do not check close file when inactive. I just don't like to do that. And speed is at 100%. Color range, uh, just do auto and click OK. Boom, you're good to go. So now what you have is you have the toasty media file inside your ZZ triggers. And what you wanna do is go into whatever um, scene you want and make sure that that trig, that scene, you're gonna go ahead and go to add scene and you're gonna add existing, well it only does that anyways. And you're gonna find ZZ triggers or whatever you name it, you're gonna add it and make sure it's at the top of your sources for that scene. The only thing that I didn't tell you that I had to do on the toasty file was I had to put a green screen or a chroma key on it because it is a green screen file. So what that looks like is it's just the default. All I did was hit add chroma key. There it is right there. And what that does is it gets rid of the green screen on the file. Okay, now we're gonna go into the next step. We've installed Touch Portal. We've linked everything appropriately, our OBS, our Twitch, our YouTube, whatever. One thing with, twi <laughs> One thing with Touch Portal is you also need to make sure that it, it always runs when you start up. So you click the cog, it gets a little pop-up menu and you just want to make sure it starts at windows boot start at boot minimize so it's just not on your desktop hit save that's it you're good to go these are my buttons I already have so what you're going to see is a bunch of blank buttons like this so what you're going to do is go ahead and just double click on one of them you're going to name it i'm going to name it toasty i'm going to name it toasty chat and we're going to go ahead and click here to on event what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to twitch we're going to go on chat message event all right i want it to be for everyone I'm gonna set it to is equal to, just in case people do caps or have caps lock on, exclamation, toasty. All right, then we're gonna scroll up to logic function and add a timer. And I like to add a three second timer and I'll explain why a little bit later. We're gonna to go to OBS, set source visibility. You're gonna to go to toggle and you're gonna click here and you're gonna choose your scene and it's ZZ triggers and you're gonna choose the source toasty we're going to go back up to logic make a wait timer seconds and i'm going to make it 15 milliseconds and i'll explain what all these do and we're going to go back down to set source visibly hide make sure it's the zz triggers or whatever your scene is and then it's toasty so all right essentially we just created a program of events so when someone types in exclamation toasty it's going to wait for three seconds and then it's going to turn on that that chat command and then it's going to wait for 15 seconds and then it's going to turn that chat command off boom hit save 
we're done. So we're gonna go to our Twitch scene and see if this works. Okay, so here we are in our Twitch scene. I've already uh, typed it in, so what I'm gonna do is hit enter and we're probably gonna wait for another three seconds and it's gonna pop up. Toasty. There it is, you're good to go. It was so easy, crazy easy. Okay, so if you found any of this helpful, please go ahead and like, and like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you like the music playing in the background, I'm building a copyright free Spotify playlist called Stream Tunes Lo-Fi Beats. So please go ahead and check that out. Links in the description below. And other than that, uh, hope I helped you out today and we'll see you on the next video and stream easy.